Okay, Albuquerque's Phil Chacon Park is getting a major makeover, and this comes after neighbors raised concerns it would just become the next Coronado Park. Parents and local neighbors told us it was filled with tents, trash, and used needles steps from a nearby middle school. Monica Logroño shares what changes are now on the way. This is an investment in us and in our lives, and we deserve great screen spaces and places for our kids to be together. Monday, city and community leaders planted seeds instead of having a traditional groundbreaking to introduce the changes coming to Phil Chacon Park. They were investing $10 million, more or less, into this facility. It's going to be rehabbed to include things like basketball courts, a BMX area, a uh, all-natural dog park, brand new playgrounds, but of course we also want to make sure it's a safe place, so it's going to be designed in a particular way to give us good line of sight from the street and so forth. Community leaders like Diantha also shared their experience living in the area. I was here when the park was originally built and we enjoyed it for many, many, many years. And then the last few years, it took a big toll. There was a, a big deterioration in the park. But now the community seems hopeful. But right now we are so excited uh, when the signs went up last year that they were going to redo this park. It was like, yay, finally. It's a big change from how some felt back in 2022. KOB spoke to Kenneth Trujillo, who coached baseball in the park for 12 years. Look at this. This is one of the backstops. Now, as a coach, come on, guys, let's practice. A year and a half after our interview with Trujillo, Mayor Tim Keller says improvement is on the way, not just for the park. I want everyone to know that we're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep investing right here. And the next step is finally fixing up Phil Chacon Park. Keller says the changes will take about 18 months. Monica Logroño, KOB4.